Hello and welcome everyone to another chapter of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we learned about how to add the title tag dynamically from the customizer and also how to add the custom logo option in the customizer and display it in the front end and in this video we're going to talk about how to add the custom background to the header. Okay, so let's take a look. So there is a add theme support function available and if you pass custom background to it then it's going to do that for you it's going to add that for you so let's go to our file which is class equila theme and I'm just going to add that here and hit a comma and then use the square brackets and then I'm going to just go ahead and add the default color and the default image I'm going to set this to as white and then it is asking for a default image so I don't think I need a default image so I'll just leave that as empty but you could add a default image if you want okay awesome so how does that work uh, all you have to do is just go back to the customizer and if you see there is uh, another tab that has been added over here called the custom background image and now if you go ahead and select this one right here and you choose the image you can see that now it's actually added the custom header background and if you publish it you can see that it is actually added that so where is it actually added that let's check so if you check on the body by default it's adding a class called dot custom background and then it's just adding this background to it and it's repeating it as well right so you take a look over here so it generally invokes the WP head and, and body class in the header.php to display the custom background so it's adding that class for you and you can see that it says it generates an extra style sheet in line with the HTML headers uh, usually right before the end of the document head element the extra style sheet overrides the background values from the theme style sheet right in our example following the code will be generated and notice that the body tag includes the custom background class which is what we just noticed right there you go so I'm inside of the head tag and you can see that it's added a style tag inside of the head tag and then it's added this CSS inside of it which is body dot custom background and the background image and all of that stuff so this is where it's coming from it's coming inside of the head and that's what it's saying over here that WP head which is the hook that we used uh, while we were creating the header uh, let's go to header yeah so it is using this hook and as I had explained to you when I was explaining the WP head that there is a there is a hook called WP head and WordPress not only registers your style sheets and scripts that you are including but it registers its own core style sheets as well right so if you search WP head you can see that you know there are other uh, actions that are attached to it and it has generated this style right now you can also set these default values so currently uh, you can see that it's repeating so if we don't want to repeat it we can add this option of no repeat over here into our options like so so now let's go back and check you can see that now it's not repeating okay so if you go to the WP rest themes control controller you can see that these are the properties that are available uh, you have the default image default preset default position X and Y size repeat attachment and default color so these are some of the options that are available over here okay so you can go ahead and add the styles accordingly so that's how uh, the this functionality works so for now I'm just going to remove the background because it's pretty small anyways and then you can also override the uh, default options and probably give it a style so for now I'll just leave it okay but you know that it exists and that's how you can handle it
awesome great so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and do follow me on Twitter my Twitter handle is Cody tech and do follow me on github as well uh, please do star my repository to support my work my repository name is Aquila okay awesome so I'll see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye